I've been recently thinking about what would be a video that I would make outside my comfort zone, which is not travel videos or documentaries or short films. And I remember that in the last couple of months, I've been struggling with perfectionism because since the beginning of the year, I'm actually in burnout because I literally work 10 hours a day. And uh, yeah, I decided to talk to you about uh, unhealthy ways of perfectionism and how I actually managed finally to avoid the extremes. It's like keeping balance. If we lay too much on one side, we fall. The trick here is to stay as balanced as possible. Perfectionism is often translated as being a personal trait on accomplishments. It can be healthy in case of which leads to self-motivation and achieve success, but it can also be damaging, which can lead to frustrations, fear of failure or anxiety. Every time we think something should be substantially easier than it turns out to be, it becomes a matter of unhealthy perfectionism. There are two types of perfectionism. The self-oriented perfectionism, which usually puts pressure on ourselves. But don't get me wrong, pressure is good. But when there is too much pressure, then there is pain to treat. We can easily link this type of perfectionism to everyday tasks. Sometimes we wait for the perfect moment to start or we don't start at all, which in fancy terms is called procrastination. Those are signs of you being a self-oriented perfectionist. The second type is where we put pressure on other people based on some idealistic personal standards of what it means to do well. This is called other-oriented perfectionism and reflects our very subjective opinion about how others should behave in order to be successful. I think everyone has fallen in either of the two sides, whether we criticize ourselves or others, but what's more important here is how to get out of this loophole. Oftentimes we read our failures as points of our inaptitude rather than parts of our journey. And this can lead to burnout, damaged relationships, fear of failure, uh, frustrations and even depression. However, many people that are working intense on their tasks does not always, always indicate perfectionistic behavior. And typically perfectionists believe that nothing is worthwhile until it's perfect. The end result of being a perfectionist is very often linked to the image of being successful. So it's a matter of two elements, expectations and our vision of what success means. With the rise of the internet and fake gurus, the buzz around us has created false premises of what it means to be happy. Life's success is often linked to financial success. And with all the social media flood of celebrities showing off their perfect lives, many people's dreams fall into an illusion where the belief that you can buy your happiness in exchange for dollars is getting traction. Welcome to the materialistic world. This is exactly the social conditioning that gets in the way of living a happy and fulfilled life. After all, how could you ever be satisfied if you believe in the materialistic values of a society that tells you the only path to happiness is through getting and being more? The exact same story applies to perfectionism. We have no clue what perfection really demands. So when I feel I slip towards being too picky, too of a perfectionist, I step back and I ask a very simple yet profound question. And that is, why? Why am I doing this? So why do you want to put your duties on, you know, duties on, uh, on TikTok? Cause I want to get some attention, dude. Mm. Why, why do you want to get attention? Cause I want to get famous. Uh, all right. And, and why do you want to, to get famous? Why? Cause I want to be rich. I want to have money, you know, dinero. And why do you want to be rich? I don't want to stress about life. This is your answer. So you are looking for freedom. Do you really need to put your duties on TikTok in order to live a simple, happy and fulfilling life? A few weeks ago, I wanted to change my smartphone and to make the switch from Android to iOS. Uh, and I literally lost about a week just to discover that this was um, pushing me further from everyday tasks that I had to complete. And then I reached some personal de deadlines. Uh, where I started to panic and I got the phones and I still wasn't happy. After I realized how damaging everything has become, I was looking for ways to clear up my mind and make space for a change. When I feel overwhelmed by tasks and I feel I'm getting the purpose out of my hand, I implement a 10 to 20 minute daily meditation session. The things are pretty simple. 
I sit down, find some meditation music, I burn some sage, I set my timer for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, and I focus my attention on my thoughts. Sometimes they play along, other times it's pretty much impossible to keep myself aligned. That's okay. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to allocate time for yourself. Process your thoughts and sit and be quiet. Like this. There's nobody to blame. Perfectionism lives in all of us. It just pops from time to time and it's important to know when to drag it down and chill out. Guys, let me know in the comment section below how you deal with perfectionism. What are the things that really bothers you when it comes to this topic? Uh, and I'll see you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.